Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first ever baking video. If you want to catch all of my other ones from before, they are over on Instagram at stacy.joswiak. I'm so excited to hopefully switch my baking platform over to YouTube to get more views and to edit my videos better. And I'm just so excited to be sharing them with you. And I'm so excited that you're along for the journey. So let's go ahead and get started. Now that's more like it. Just a few things about me before we get started since this is my first video. I'm a military spouse and occupational therapist. I never baked or cooked a day in my life, but my husband does all of the cooking and I decided, you know what, maybe I should bring something to the table. So I started picking up baking, uh, very much an amateur baker, about a year ago now. And I've done so many different recipes over on my Instagram, almost probably over 40 at this point. There were a few weeks that I took off, of course, for vacations and various things, but I pretty much faithfully have baked every Friday over on Instagram, and then I made those highlight reels so you can go over there and view it. Again, Stacy.Joswiak. Um, but I'm hopefully gonna be turning everything over to this platform. So now let's really get started on baking. Today for our premiere recipe, we will be making peach cobbler cake. I got this recipe off of Tasty. A lot of times I use Tasty or Pinterest for my recipes. Um, I never tried to make up my own. I do sometimes tweak them and I will let you know when I do, but otherwise I pretty much stick to the recipe. That way hopefully I can actually make it well. So your primary ingredients for this recipe are gonna be peaches and cinnamon rolls. If you want, you can be really fancy and make your own Make your own cinnamon rolls, which I have done before, and that reel, I believe, is over on Instagram, like I said. But today, I'm just going to use canned. That's what the recipe calls for, and that's what we're going to do today. So first thing we're going to do is get the oven preheating to 350. The other two ingredients in the recipe are also cornstarch and cinnamon. First thing we have to do is pop these bad boys open. Next, we have to slice our cinnamon roll into cubes. You're going to do two cuts here. And then two cuts this way, and you'll end up with nine little cubes. Next, you're gonna move all these cinnamon rolls into this bowl. Your next step is gonna to be to slice that peach in half and get that pit out. Then you're gonna slice it into a bunch of pieces. You're then gonna put all those peaches into a separate bowl than what the cinnamon rolls are in. This is where we will add in our one and a half teaspoons of cornstarch and also our one teaspoon of cinnamon. Mix that all together so everything's coated with cinnamon and with the cornstarch. Next, it doesn't say to spray the baking dish, but just to be safe, I'm gonna just slightly coat it. Next, you're gonna take half of your cinnamon rolls and put them down to make a layer. Yes, it does look that scarce, even in the tasty video. Next, we're gonna add in half of our peaches, then the rest of the cinnamon rolls, followed by the remainder of the peaches. Now for the best part, you know we couldn't forget, our cinnamon icing. This looks so delicious already, and I haven't even popped it in the oven yet. So now we're gonna bake it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350. Hey Google, set a timer for 30 minutes. All right, 30 minutes, starting now. Sorry if that set off all of your Googles. And that's the cue that it's done. So 30 minutes have gone by. Look how beautiful and delicious this looks. How yummy. Now I'm gonna leave it cool for a bit and then we get to do the taste test. Okay, so it's now time for our little taste test. It's been cooling out here. Let's see. Mmm, -hmm. very good. I thought 30 minutes might be too long. I mean, that's what the recipe said, but when you normally bake cinnamon rolls, it's only like 15 minutes or so, but very good, very easy. The only thing I would recommend probably is to save the icing for afterwards. I feel like it kind of got absorbed into um, the entire cake they're calling it. Um, so I would recommend saving the frosting for afterwards because I don't feel like that was a really strong flavor. Otherwise, very good. Well, if you watched all the way to the end, I just want to say thank you so much. I'm so excited about this being my first video. I'm going to try to release them 
probably every Friday because um, that's how it was on Instagram. It was Baking Friday. So I'm going to probably try to stick with that. I'm going to branch out a little bit and not just do desserts. I'll be doing side dishes and casseroles and other things as long as they require some sort of baking, um, you know, the oven, a fire pit, a grill. As long as they require some sort of baking, I'm going to try to explore a little bit more because I was really just doing desserts over on Instagram. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.